I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a really high pitched sound. And we can't figure out what's going on. It only happens when the furnace runs or the hot water heater or the refrigerator. Anything that requires propane. What is it? Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Marlene. And I'm Gary. And the reason I started this out in the bathroom is because that's where we hear the noise the loudest. Now, this was a couple weeks ago, I think. At least, yeah. And it was cold. Mm -hmm. Today, it's very warm. Tomorrow's going to be cold again. We're in Wisconsin <laughs> in the spring. <laughs> and my voice has been a little hoarse for a while. Our next video was going to be a follow-up to the last one we did on affordable housing. And we're going to show you some things that we have found since then, th things we've found out since then, and then also an, an update on our son's health and some of the tests that he's had done and what the results were. But we're still waiting on some things, so we decided to do this one in its place for now, and that one should be coming up soon. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do that by hitting that subscribe button down below. We heard this really high-pitched squeal. And it was every time the furnace was running, which was happening a lot, yeah. and the stove, and when the gas water heater kicked in, right. and the refrigerator, anything that used propane. So Gary did some research. I did. I found out that sometimes propane tanks make noise, <laughs> depending on weather circumstances, but also sometimes because something isn't working right. Yeah. So, so we did a little more checking around and... Then we found out about the possibility of a different regulator because ours was kind of old. Yeah, as you'll see in the rest of the video here. Um, it's not an exciting video. We did kind of put a little humor in there once in a while just yeah. to pep it up a little bit. Fortunately, nothing exploded. No yeah. big fires. Yeah, <laughs> so. that would have made it more exciting, I guess. But anyway, we thought it might help somebody because there are a lot of older RVs out there. And uh, it can happen to newer ones, too. It's just something that has to be replaced once in a while. And Gary's going to show you how to do that. Make sure you watch the video all the way to the end because Gary leaks a secret that of something we're working on. And <laughs> he let it slip, and I thought, well, I'll just leave it in there as a teaser. So you got to watch till the end to learn about something that's coming. The propane tanks are underneath the counter in the bathroom. This is where that tall cabinet is in the bathroom, and that's underneath the shelves, this um, shower that we have to make sure it keeps warm. And this is probably about where the countertop is. So that's why it was so loud in the, bat in the bathroom. Well, I suppose you could say this is our next big adventure or experiment. Uh, this morning I went and filled the propane tank and I've been doing a little checking up on regulators, uh, propane regulators, and it says after 10 to 15 years they uh, tend to wear out. And as far as we know, this is the original in our 23-year-old RV home. So it's probably wore out a bit. Thought it'd be a good time to change it. Because it's just hopefully one of those things that will be all the safer for us in the future. Have to take that off yet. Obviously the tanks are out and this regulator has to come out so I can put the new one in there. It says it's fairly easy. <laughs> well, we're going with that. So this is the old one that I now got out of, out of the, off the mount. Okay. And then this is the new one. So I had to take the old brackets off here and put them on here. It didn't come with the brackets? It came with a bracket but it's different so this is easier. Oh, okay. To just replace what's there. So the holes match up and everything so far we're great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the important thing. Okay. Yes. And and what does the pressure re pressure regulator Propane regulator. Propane regulator. What does it do? So it, it 
regulates the pressure coming out of the tank so it will be so it won't be so it, it lowers the pressure so it's safer to operate <laughs> okay. okay and the reason that you're doing this is because we've been hearing a real high pitch squealing when we have the gas water heater kick in it's been making more noise than it seems like it should yes yeah And where did you get this? I bought this at Menards. Menards. Yep. I don't think they have Menards all across the country. It's a Midwest thing, I think. But you could probably get it at like a Home Depot or someplace like that too. Sure. Or Amazon or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Online order someplace. Okay. Even Camping World, but... It's called Mr. Heater Propane Auto Changeover High Capacity Two-Stage Regulator. I would have known exactly to ask for that if I went into a store. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so it's that plus that plus that plus that plus that. Hmm. All right. Uh, Gary's tools. Hmm. We don't have room for a lot. So far, for six years, that's been handling it pretty good. Yeah. Sometimes you uh, borrow from somebody, but this is oh, we're by a road. Sorry for the noise. What kind of tape is it? Does that come in the kit, or do you have to buy that separate? Uh, I got it separate. Okay. Mm. It's for gas lines, to for threaded connections on gas lines. Okay. It's a tape that helps it seal. That's Hopefully it. we don't get any leaks from the gas line after this. One of our faithful followers calls Gary. <laughs> He's, he always, whenever Gary's fixing anything, he says, uh, how, do you, "How does he say that?" Gary's. Old RV or something like that. My old RV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Based on the PBS show called This Old House, he calls it This Old R Gary's RV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll correct me in the comments below. <laughs> so he's taking off the old tape first as much as he can. And then he'll put the new stuff on. Sticky stuff. No, it's slippery. Slippery. Yeah. It's not a really tape. I'm not sure what it is. What's it made out of? Like a plastic? Looks like plastic of some kind. Silicone? Silicone? Maybe? Okay. So the, this part does not turn. You have to twist this onto it. Okay. Tanks that are outside more, like it, the, the, to keep the moisture out. Oh, and our old one didn't have that. Our no. old one was only 23 years old. But it was also, it's also covered in here. Yeah. Hopefully. Some people have their propane tanks on the front of a, like a travel trailer, and they're not always, they maybe might have some plastic thing over the top protecting it. Whoa, I got too big here. 
They might have a they might have a plastic thing over the top that protects it, but other than that, they don't have like this is a little protective room for it or bay. I guess it's not really a room. Yeah, it doesn't have a couch or a TV in it. Did the old one have that black um, uh, lever on the top? It's right there. Yeah, but I don't remember. It's not. Oh, I see. It did have it on there. Okay. Did you by any chance notice if the old one had like a crack in it or something? Or? Well, it would probably be on the inside. That wouldn't have shown. Right. Using that same yellow tape stuff, whatever that is, on that, on the, th the threading of this part. Everything in an RV is built in tiny, tight spaces. This actually is pretty good. Good. Compared to some of the tighter spots. Yeah. <laughs> Now taping the other one. These are the ones that go on to the tanks themselves. Yes, the pigtails. 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 They're called pigtails. Our granddaughter wears pigtails. And of course the tanks were just filled so they're heavy. <laughs> yes, they are heavy. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how it happened. Mm. What size tanks are they? 20? 25? 30 pound. 30 pound? Okay. Seven, eight gallons? I'm not sure. Okay. They're just heavy when they're full. Yeah. <laughs> and they're light when they're empty. <laughs> He flipped the cap off so that he could put the pigtail on it. Yeah. So once we get this all hooked up, we got a spray, a spray, spray bottle. <laughs> I'm tripping on your tool. To squirt on all the connections to see if there's any leaks. And we don't want to see leaks, but if there are bubbles, then they have to take it apart to make sure it doesn't leak. stand. Okay, All he's right. gonna turn them on. We're gonna turn them on. No smoking from this point until we say it's safe. <laughs> smoking. <laughs> no fires, no sparks. No sparks. No boom. Flashlight. Any bubbles? Mm 
hear something, but I don't see anything. Does it sound like it's hissing? Kind of a gurgle. A gurgle. It might be my stomach. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Now I'm going to go inside and light the stove to see if the gas is actually flowing all the way there. Alrighty. And then I'll check back. We just got back from a Costco run. I think I have everything put away, but it's still kind of messy. <laughs> I'm following you. You got some new solar lights. I'm charging one up to make sure. I want to see how bright it gets. We have the tarp around the bottom here because it's been cold in Wisconsin. Warmed up today. That was nice. Okay. Okay. Is that working? We don't normally light it this way. Did you turn the valve on? What valve? On the tank? No. Oh. Ah. Why isn't it lighting? It's kind Is of a long ways from there to here. Oh. I think I should see something. I would think. Well, let me go check. Do you have to do anything with that black lever? I do. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're not getting gas. That's the red, isn't it? I can't tell. Where? What am I looking at? That's red. On the top here, under the black. Yes, it's red. Yeah, we should be getting gas flow. So that should be a green. Yes. Oh. Hmm. We have fire and okay so now why are you lighting it with that instead of the normal way just in case it didn't light right away oh the igniter there you go all righty nice and cool blue or it's the right color awesome now we can go for a walk i can Nope. Keep going on the wrong side. Just, I don't know, maybe it's me, but I'm still smelling the gas. So you should not be smelling gas. Spraying on the connections again. And if something's leaking, it's going to bubble. What do you have in the bottle? Does it Mostly matter? Water. Mostly water. That's all it takes. You don't have to have no. soap or anything in it. Yes, I could have soap in it. Okay. Well, this would be a little more obvious. Okay.
Very snug fit. Yeah, I say. Hard to believe that's what holds it in. <laughs> okay, went for our walk, and now Carrie's gonna just check it one more time. See if anything's passing gas in here. You're funny. Oh, it smells like vinegar. Yeah, good. I don't hear any noises either. I think it's a go. Good job. Yay! Gary had uh, too much propane in his nose. <laughs> All I could smell was the vinegar and the water. Say that again? That's a wrap. That's our two minute Tuesday event. Yeah, well, this is definitely not a two minute Tuesday. That's our 20 minute Tuesday event. Yeah. <laughs> This will be for another day. It's better than having a two-hour event. There you go. We've still got time to go play. Right. Before the sun goes down. <laughs> I hope you learned something from that. Uh, it was really hard. I couldn't have the camera go through Gary's head a lot of times. <laughs> I could have done it maybe through his ear. I thought about doing that, but I didn't think that would, that would work either. So anyway, you, you, I showed as much as I possibly could. I suppose if we get one of those fancy schmancy cameras that has a little coil thing on it and a little wiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, then I'd be hitting that instead of my head. Yeah, I might have, <laughs> yeah, might have been able to do that. But anyway. Hopefully you, you got the gist of it. We were going to do this video outside originally because it was such a beautiful day. And everywhere we went, there was a lawnmower that started up. A train came through. Um, dogs barking. Kids uh, giggling. Kids, yeah, it was yeah. just everybody was, was outside. No, it wasn't <laughs> terrible. Everybody was outside because it was such a gorgeous day. And uh, it was just not a day that we could take you out there. But... Um, if you check out our Facebook page, I did put a lot of pictures of some spring flowers that are very typical for Wisconsin this time of year. And some of them are starting to fade now, and some of the later spring ones are starting to bloom. So be watching our Facebook page for some of those. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Next to a little bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell, and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page, Roads of Faith. And... Check out the videos that we have at the end of every video. We usually have a, a choice of two videos you can watch that maybe you haven't seen before. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.